My real purpose here today is to, to introduce the chair of the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, and I've already warned her that this is going to be a strange introduction. Uh, Inez Tenenbaum from South Carolina was elected uh, twice, served eight years as South Carolina State Superintendent of Education, has been a candidate for the U.S. Senate, has an extensive background, but I'm going to put her in perspective in a way that people can really understand. We all understand how the U.S. Senate works when people are confirmed for office. This woman was nominated by President Obama on June the 9th, 2009, and was confirmed 10 days later. How did you do that? I mean, nobody gets confirmed in 10 days by the United States Senate. That speaks volumes about the respect uh, in which she's held, obviously, by people on both sides of the aisle in the U.S. Senate. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Inez Tenenbaum. Thank you. <laughs> Judge Emmett, thank you so much for such a warm introduction and for your leadership in keeping the four million residents of Harris County safe and secure. And we are just so grateful that your daughter's story ended positively. We are all here today for a simple but powerful reason, to save the lives of children in Houston and in Texas. Drowning is a leading, but it is preventable. But it is the leading cause of death and injury among children under the age of five. So we're so pleased to be here at the Weekly Family Y to do something about this tragic statistic. Our new Pool Safely, uh, Safely uh, public education campaign is, so, is also about using and sharing simple steps that can save a child's life. Just last month, a teacher heroically saved the life of a two-year-old boy in southwest Houston through his quick actions and the knowledge of CPR. Texas is considered a trouble spot when it comes to pool safety because there's a high number of drownings and submersions incidents uh, year-round. There have been 17 incidents in Texas just since Memorial Day. CPSC, along with the National Drowning Prevention Alliance and Safe Kids, has brought our Pool Safely campaign to Houston to announce a new kids safety education uh, pr program. The program is aimed at preventing drownings. This is the latest initiative in our National Pool Safely Simple Steps Save Lives initiative. The centerpiece of our kids safety program is an online activity for families and an educational video that we're releasing today. The educational video uses seven pool safely steps to encourage safe and responsible behavior in and around pools and spas. Some of these life-saving steps include having a fence at least four feet, feet tall, having a self-latching and self-closing gate around the pool, having a pool alarm and a door alarm on the a door leading to the pool or the spa, knowing CPR, always supervising children in and around pools and spas, and installing safer drain covers. The video series is now available on YouTube, and the Safe Kids in the in <clears throat> NDPA websites. I encourage families to check them out and to share them with their friends and their neighbors. The new Pool Safely app is an interactive online game for parents and young children. It highlights the campaign's simple steps and encourages players to correct unsafe behaviors around pools and spas in a real world setting, such as backyards, hotel, and community pools such as this. The online game is aimed at children seven and under, and it's available for play on poolsafely.gov. Safekids.org uh, safekids and NPDA ndpa.org. We're now going to take a moment to show all of you the introduction to the video and a preview of the app. Hello, this is Ming Na. Every year, approximately 300 children under the age of five drown in swimming pools and spas. Thousands more hospitalized after close calls. Every single one of these deaths and injuries is preventable. Simple steps save lives. And not just one or two steps, 
but multiple ones must be taken at all times to ensure safety around pools and spas. That's what we mean by pool safely. So always apply as many of the following simple steps as possible, because you never know which safety step will save a life, until it does. These look great, don't they? Go to poolsafely.gov today to learn more safety steps by viewing the video and using the app. I can't wait to play the game. Today's announcement is just in the, one of the latest in our national campaign. Last month, CPSC released a series of public service announcements that show parents and children how to stay safe in and around pools and spas. The PSAs are available for television, radio, and print media in English and in Spanish. We really encourage all of you in the media to use them. The number of incidences this summer are the driving reason why we encourage everyone to learn and follow the simple steps that can save lives. From installing a four-foot fence to having a working pool alarm, from securing the back door that leads to the pool and supervising young children every second they're in and around the water. Drowning deaths rise every summer, and this year is no exception. Since Memorial Day, the Pool Safely Campaign has tracked more than 210 drownings, near drownings or submersion incidences in 38 states. Nearly 100 of these 210 instances were fatal. Each of those deaths represents a family traumatized by a child's death or a close call. Our message today is especially important to the African American community. The U.S. Swimming and the CDC have determined that there's a disproportionate risk of drownings for African-American children, especially young African-American males. With the support of our partners and through the CPSC's Minority Outreach Program, we are getting the word out through the community so that everyone can take the simple steps that save lives. I would like to close my remarks today by recognizing that the passage of the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act is the key reason why we are gathered here today. The child, this child safety law has helped make hundreds of thousands of pools safer by increasing the attention to a hidden and awful danger, pool and spa drain entrapment. The law is named after the granddaughter of Texas native and former Secretary of State James Baker. The secretary, his daughter-in-law, Nancy Baker, along with Safe Kids, MPD, NDPA, and so many others are the driving forces behind the passage of this important law. Parents should know that many public pools and spas across Texas have installed new and safer drain covers, another safety step, and this one is required by federal law, and this will keep children safer. I would like to thank Katie Moore and the Texas Department of Public Health for their leadership and collaboration in implementing this very important law. I also want to restate a message that I sent to public pool and spa operators when I first arrived at the CPSC last summer. If your facility is not compliant with the Pool and Spa Safety Act, you should not be open. And we've requested attorneys general across the United States health departments to look at these pools and shut them down if they're not compliant with the drain requirements. Install the right equipment and comply with the law so that you can stay open and help the kids in your community have a fun and safe place to go. Adding extra safety steps around the water can make all the difference. You will never know which safety measure will save a life until it does.